Welcome to Digital Asset News. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to go over just some basics uh, of how to actually purchase the uh, cent token, which you can see right here, which is at a whopping uh, almost five cents. And we're going to do this by walking you through how to set up your MetaMask wallet, how to use those um, those cryptocurrencies to go over to zero exchange to use zero exchange and purchase the cent token everything in between so let's just dive right in and uh, get into it and we'll uh, go over just the basics of basics so first up let's uh, do a nice little close-up here and uh, as we can see the cent token is a whopping like I said five cents or so and uh, just as a reminder uh, this is the cent token for trade the chain uh, there's gonna be uh, the the what we know so far is that the utility it's going to allow you to save uh, on fees for all the different trades that you do and uh, the team over there alex Masioli and ryan and all those guys they can only tell us that uh, there's going to be more listings on more exchanges so take that as you will and uh, this is just a, a quick overview of how this all works and what they did was they didn't they didn't do an ico they didn't uh, offer it to any, anything private uh, they just put it on the first thing they did was put on, put on a DEX a decentralized exchange such as uh, zero and they said look um, we're not going to uh, front run anything there's a lockup period for all the holders for six months and uh, we're not going to do anything special that anybody gets anything uh, something you know fantastic we're just going to put it out there and then we'll let the market decide what they believe the price should be and it started off at around uh, less than a penny and then within a couple hours it was up to uh, 10 cents and now it's down stabilized around five cents so and that's just on the decentralized exchange so we'll see what happens as more listings come out who knows what those are but uh the question that i keep getting is well how do i do this how do i you know buy this on zero exchange so let's just go through some of the basics real quick and the first things first is you gotta go to metamask and i'm gonna link this in the description below because there's a lot of different problems not with apple but with google google has a lot of different issues but they just let everything in it seems like they don't doesn't matter uh, what it is so i'm going to send you to the official website and you can download it there so that is what we've got so me personally let's see do i even have <laughs> do i even have metamask on here uh probably not so i need to download it so uh, we're going to click on download now install metamask for your browser it's going to ask you to get brave ios or android and uh, i am running brave so it just automatically detects it which is cool great good for us install metamask and it's going to take us to the chrome web store because chrome uh, shares everything with uh, brave or brave shares with chrome on right, which way to say it and uh so it's gonna give you like an overview what it all is da, da, da. and that's great and then we're going to click on the very bottom here. It says add to Brave. For you, it might say something different. Add to Chrome or add to, I don't know, whatever you got. So you're going to click on add to Brave. And it's going to ask you, and you can't see this. Uh, let me see if I can, I'll do a screenshot. But it says, for, for me, even though you can't see it, it says add MetaMask. It can read and change all your data, display notifications, modify data, you copy and paste. And it's going to say cancel or add extension. I'm going to add the extension. And then bang, it uh, adds it. Welcome to MetaMask. Look at that. Thing just falls you over. Connecting you to Ethereum and the decentralized web. We're happy to see you. Great, let's get started. So new to MetaMask, do you want to import a wallet, which you can do, but if you're watching this video, there's a good chance you have nothing. So uh, let's just get it set up. Let's create a wallet. Help us improve MetaMask. Uh, MetaMask will always allow you to opt in via settings. And then I'm scrolling down, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what it's asking you to do is to send information. So, okay, I agree, whatever. Let's create a password, whatever it is. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Just kidding. It's going to be something different than that. Uh, and same combination as my luggage. Let's see. I have agreed to it, and I'm going to create. Okay, so... The secret backup phrase. This is where you would write this down. Pretty important to do such things. And uh, I'm going to uh, get rid of this, <laughs> this part of the video. And it's going to say, click here to reveal the secret words, which I'll do in a second. But uh, whatever. Okay, and I'm done. It says, hey, what's new? 
Uh, as of Chrome version 9, the API that enabled our Ledger support no longer supports hardware wallets. Well, that's a bummer. And something, something. Uh, swapping on mobile is here. MetaMask mobile users can now swap tokens inside their mobile wallet. Well, that's pretty cool. And uh, and you use that little QR code there if you want to. Little additional features, sure, whatever. All right, so here is our MetaMask wallet. Great, we've got something. Now we just need some money, or we need some Ethereum, or we need something to put it in there, right? And then uh, just real quick, over here in the very top right-hand corner, this is Ethereum mainnet. Just so you know, you can uh, you can change the different uh, uh, chains that you're on. And if you want to go to like the Binance Smart Chain, that's a whole nother thing, but uh, you would just put in custom RPC and that's beyond the scope of this video. So let's just get down to it, right? So first of all, Ethereum. I need to add some Ethereum in some way, shape or form. So this is our, this is our uh, uh, public address. And uh, do I want to buy or send it? Well, I can't send squat because I don't have anything, right? So I'm going to click on this and if to click on buy. If you want to buy Ethereum with wire, I wouldn't suggest that. Or directly deposit Ether. Uh, let's see. Let's view the account here. And this is your account. And it's the same thing over here. View any of the Sorry, right? That doesn't matter. Um, all this is, this is your wallet, okay? So MetaMask is not gonna allow you to buy anything. If you wanna do that wire thing, sure, I wouldn't recommend it. But what I do is to keep this super simple, super simple, let's just go to some place where I've got some Ethereum and we'll go from there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Voyager. It's the easiest one I can think of. So on the very first screen, when you log in, the very bottom right-hand corner, it looks like a little briefcase in uh what is that blue green something or other and we're going to click on that to bring us into our actual account and for me uh i'm going to click on right underneath that Bit bitcoin one it says ethereum right in the center there i've got a whopping 16.91 ethereum so i'm going to click on ethereum and then right there uh in the very middle part of it it's going to say transfer. So if you can, if you have that option, because not all cryptocurrencies can be sent off of the Voyager uh, brokerage, but for this one, and most of them can, but just some can't. Uh, we click on transfer and it's gonna ask us, do you wanna deposit ETH or do you wanna withdraw ETH? We wanna withdraw that Ethereum. So it's gonna ask us right here, two, where is the two? So for me, what I'm looking for is I can do one of two things. I can uh, go to my MetaMask wallet and I can copy to clickboard uh, and I can just click on that and it'll transfer it over to me, which, uh, you know, is pretty easy. Or if I want to, uh, I can just uh, scan the barcode, which again, I'll just click on the buy and it says uh, directly deposit Ethereum, view the account, and there's my barcode. So if I so choose to, I can just click on on my uh, phone itself and I can click on there on the upper right hand corner right underneath the cancel button where the barcode is and I can just scan that sweet barcode and then boom then it puts it in there right there uh, whichever way you want to do it really doesn't matter so what do I want to do well let's send uh, let's send 0 0.5 oh that's not it 0 0.5 ethereum yeah nah two five and here's another thing. Uh, I never like to send uh, just a big whop, whopping amount of uh, crypto in one shot. Uh, I like to kind of do a chess transaction sometimes first. But with the gas fees, eh, eh, we'll see how it is. So right now, we see the fee is at 0 0.004 ETH. Let's look that up real quick. What the heck is that? <clears throat> I just type in ETH to USD. This thing usually comes up. So we got 0.004 ETH is 10 bucks. Hey, that's not bad. I'll take it, 10 bucks. And uh, uh, again, on my phone, I'm going to, where it says slide to withdraw ETH. I'm then thus going to slide to withdraw ETH. And it's gonna ask me for my two-factor authentication, which I'll put that in now. If you don't have 2FA, I recommend it for every single thing. It's a nice little app from Google and it uh, confirms everything. So even if somebody stole, steals my phone, or gets access to my phone, they don't have access to uh, my uh, 2FA. Actually, no, I take that back. If they do steal my phone, it's fun, they do have it, uh, <laughs> access to my 2FA. So another good trick that uh, I learned from that Wolf of Wall Street, of all street, Wolf, Wolf of all streets, is uh, just get a backup phone and just put your uh, 2FA uh, app on there. So anyhow, 
Let me put that in. And I confirmed it. And bam. Your withdrawal of 0.25 ETH was initiated from blah, 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 blah. And then it's going to say, go and ver verify uh, in your email. So I'm just going to go do that. And there it is. So it says, uh, hey, uh, did you do this or not? And uh, yes, I did that. So confirm withdrawal. Another great security measure. I like that. And then withdrawal confirmed. So we're going to wait for this to hit the account. And then we're going to go over to Zero Exchange and buy some uh, scent. And then uh, bang, there it is. That was fast. It was like it took like a couple minutes. That's amazing. So uh, all right. And then uh, real quick, just as a uh, refresher uh, on your on your tabs, is make sure you can get back to your MetaMask wallet. Uh, there's a little puzzle right here. See this puzzle in the top right hand corner? There's like a little puzzle piece. Puzzle piece. You click on that, and it says MetaMask. And you want to pin that that little pin button there. Uh, you actually can't see it. Sorry, but uh, let me take a. I'll take a shot of this and splice this in and we're going to take a we're going to pin that so it appears onto our uh fast access to all the different apps and there it is metamask so we can always get back to it so cool so here we have we are all set up with this great metamask wallet so what are we going to do now well first of all let's go to zero exchange and again link is in the description please don't uh, uh go to the wrong one and get uh you know all your money stolen so we're on zero dot exchange which is the number zero dot exchange pretty good Pretty good uh, domain that they got there. And it says, launch the app. All right, so let's launch the app. Launching. Now that we have everything here, we got home, swap, transfer. First, we got to connect the wallet. So in the upper right-hand corner, it says, connect wallet. Let's connect a wallet. Which one do we want to do? Probably the MetaMask, right? Click on MetaMask. This little guy will pop up. You can't see it. I'm going to take a screenshot and uh, stick this in later. And there it is. Account blah, 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 0 0.25 ETH. Yes. Next. And then uh, view the address of your pin accounts required. Yes, we need to connect. Hey, we're ballers. So we got zero. There it is. 0 0.25 ETH. Da 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 da. And uh, here's our exchange. So what do we want to do here? So we want to buy the send token, right? All right. So first of all, which is really cool about this one, you can use Ethereum, Avalanche, or Smart Chain. That's uh, beyond the scope of this video, but just so you know, uh, it's really cheap on on Avalanche, very uh, uh, quick. Same thing with Smart Chain, but uh, we're using Ethereum because it's simplest, and I want to get into it right now. So anyhow, Ethereum, there we are. And what we want to do over here, see on the left hand side, it says swap. It's got home swap transfer pools and blah 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 blah. So swap. Great. So we want to swap from to something, right? So let's select a token. And uh, let's say, uh, how about Ethereum? That sounds pretty good, right? So we're going to swap Ethereum. Let's do the max, whatever it is. And let's select a token. So when we click on there, see where it says search name or paste address? This is where it's really important to know the contract address. And that is the information that is, that is uh, uh, consistent or pertains to the actual asset that you want to buy. That is what we're looking for. And likely for us, uh, Alex Mascioli uh -huh, and, and the team over there at Trade the Chain gave me the, the uh, contact address or the uh, uh, smart contract address. So we're just going to put it in there. So I'm going to link that in the description. It looks something like this. And bang. Man, that contract had so much juice, it knocked me all the way back to my pool house in El Paso, Texas. So, uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, sent, added by user. And this is why I'd like to do the contract addresses because everything is uh, put right there. And we know we have the exact one instead of trying to figure it all out. So that is the one I want, sent. So I'm going to click on that. So what do I want to do? Well, I have 0 0.25 ETH. And I can uh, spend all that for all the scent. And uh, hey, why not? I think it's going to be a good project. So max out 0 0.24. There's always going to be a little bit of a fee. And the price is, wow, 0 0.001 ETH per cent, which uh, not <laughs> not too bad. Liquid provider, provider fee is 0 0.001437. Let's see how much that is. I'm just curious. 0 0.001437. Three bucks. Okay, 372. I'll, uh, I'll accept those charges. And uh, let's quick uh, click on swap. So now it's going to, okay, okay, the output is estimated. You receive at least, geez, 21,473 cent or, or the transaction will revert. Here's the price. 
da 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 and we want to accept oh price updated accept and we're going to confirm the swap and then you can't see this so i'm going to do a screenshot but the metamask a uh, little notification is going to pop up and it's going to say so there's a problem the gas fee is 0.00693 or $17.93, which is ridiculous. I will just say that. And the total is uh, 0 0.24, which is uh, $638. So here's a little trick. If you ever wanna knock these fees down, just wait until two or three in the morning, not uh, 7.40 p.m. at night like I'm doing right now, but I don't wanna wake up to, to, tonight or the morning, tomorrow at four in the morning, so I don't really care. I'm gonna click confirm and success. Your tokens transfer has been successful, successful, <laughs> and then click done. And then we can view on the uh, Ethereum scanner. So now that we have that, let's make sure it is where we think it is. And uh, just so you know, let me see if I can bring this in. Now, uh, up on the very top right, I'm gonna take a, a screenshot of this and then place it in there. So we're gonna click on our MetaMask wallet real quick. And so let's see, activity, assets, and it looks like pending. We have a pending <laughs> uh, swap coming on and we can click on speed up and go from there, but uh, that's it. So that is essentially all there is to it. Let me take a screenshot of that so you can see it. Yeah. Then one more thing, if you wanna check the price of the sentiment token. Uh, there's a website called dextools.io and I'm gonna give you the exact uh, web address to where you can actually find the fluctuating price. And right now the price uh, as of June 14th uh, is 0 0.0, almost three cents. We'll just say something like that. So that's, that's something. And uh, then of course you can go ahead and buy it. And also when you're looking at your uh, MetaMask wallet and you wanna see exactly like what happened with the swap after we just did it so see up here in the upper right hand corner uh where i'm moving my uh, mouse around you, you can't really use, see my mouse there's a little fox looking thing here up right hand corner right next to this puzzle piece uh we're going to click on that that's going to open up our metamask wallet yet again you can't see it so i'm going to take a nice little screenshot because uh for some reason it can't uh, look at this but when we're looking at this uh we see there it's got we've only got 17 dollars left as far as ethereum and there's really not much else so where what happened to our sent token well sometimes it doesn't show up because it's a it's a custom token so we're going to add a token in this one we're gonna, we can search a token or we'll just put in a custom token here's a token contract address which is the same one we just used over at uh, zero exchange there's a ticker symbol there's a decimals we're going to click on next and uh, look there it is we have uh, a balance we're going to add tokens now we've got a balance of 21,582 sent tokens hooray us we are uh, in the money and now it's going to appear in our uh, metamask wallet so just so you know that sometimes these will actually disappear because either your cookies get wiped out or there's some kind of like uh, settings that you have for your browser so just go through that that same process uh, add a token custom token contract address and then bam it's already in there so there is our send token and for some reason if you're like well i want to see where how it all went and where it all uh, went to okay sure um so let me first of all take some screenshots because for some reason it doesn't pick it okay so if we want to see um where uh the actual uh, are all the different transactions there's three dots right here it says account options and we're just going to click on that and once it does that it's going to come up with these uh, it's going to say expand view account details view on ether scan connected sites we're going to view on ether scan these are all the transactions in my particular wallet and of course it'll be for your particular wallet and you can see all this gobbledygook stuff and whatever else this is where you can track everything like you can track because this is this is this is the hash rate uh, there are the transaction hash, the transfer. You can just bounce around and look at a bunch of different uh, 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 wallets uh, further from and the two and just go down a rabbit hole if you want to. I'm not that adventurous. What I really care about is this. See where it says token? When I click on that, it's going to tell me all the different tokens that are in there. And one of those is uh, sentiment. So that's where you find uh, all those great things uh, in there. That is all there is to it as far as uh, purchasing and getting the sent token uh, and actually how to use the MetaMask. So I try to put two things together because I get a lot of questions about, well, how do I do this and how do I do this? And, uh, and, and off you go. 
And um, this should be as easy as that. And then if you want to make sure the transaction goes through, just again, click on your, your MetaMask wallet and the little icon in the upper right-hand corner. And just uh, you can see it through the ether scan just to make sure it goes through. And if it doesn't go through, then it's a problem with Ethereum. And that's why hopefully Ethereum gets those things fixed. And that's it. So look, uh, thanks for watching the whole video. I appreciate it. If you liked the video and found some value, give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing by clicking that uh, little subscribe button. And that's it for tonight. So thanks so much. I appreciate it. And I'll see you.